Well, help could be on the way for families preparing to face another school year without reliable internet service. For them, this broadband battle seems to never end. But now the Texas Comptroller has announced the creation of what they're calling the Broadband Development Office. It comes at a good time because earlier this summer, the governor vetoed a bipartisan bill that would have provided a universal service to fund the endeavor. 12 News reporter Amelia White joins us here new tonight with a look at the need. Jordan Dage, internet is still a concern for those who live in rural areas. I spoke with a mother in Orangeville who says her household takes turns using the internet. Hopping on the internet isn't the smoothest process for Melanie Moreno and her daughters. I don't know, we feel like we're living in the old days out here. With the start of the school year just weeks away, Moreno often thinks about the digital divide. So it's very hard to take care of, you know, school business, work business. This household solely relies on satellite internet, and oftentimes things go wrong if too many people are on it at one time. Only one person can really use it at a time, so if two of us are on there, it'll kick us off. So it's just, it's hard to take care of life. <laughs> Moreno says her daughter's school district, Orangeville ISD, has stepped in to help. Thankfully, our school, they will give us hot spots if it gets too bad. So the school has really saved a lot of people out in this area for, you know, offering that, you know, service. Orangeville ISD Superintendent Sean McAlpin calls the device a one-to-one -one technique. We find that to be beneficial to a lot of our students. They'll be able to use it not only in class, but be able to have those devices at home in most cases. The state controller's office also stands ready to help with a new program to award grants, low interest loans, and other financial incentives to internet service providers. Moreno dreams of the day when hopping online won't be such a production. Everyone just keeps on telling us it is coming, it is coming, but it never comes. Superintendent McAlpin says they are seeing some improvement in the area, but the district is still working to make sure internet difficulties can become a thing of the past. Amelia White, 12 News.